Hey everybody, it's me Owen, and I am back with a brand new video, and today, let me tell you right now, <laughs> so I just watched Star of Elion's video, and the main topic out of that that I'm covering here today is bringing up yet another article that's got a lot of misconceptions, and a lot of crap, and there's a lot to talk about, so let's get on with it. So, this article that Star found that's been spread around a lot is saying that Disney is trying to, is going to wipe itself clean of the Alita movie, that the sequel's not going to happen, this and that, the other thing, whatever. First of all, let me drop some, th let me drop some knowledge on your heads, as the Star brought up. Star said that James Cameron owns the rights to the movie, to Alita, because he bought them from the manga creator back in 98. Or somewhere around that time frame. I believe it, I believe he said 98. Um, Disney has distribution rights, yes. But James Cameron has the rights to the movie. That's something that people don't seem to want to understand. So he could go to any distribution, you know, movie distribution group that he wants to. He could go to Paramount. He could go to Universal. He could go to wherever he wants. So it's not Disney's choice as to where he goes, or whether or not the movie gets made. Well, okay, yes, technically is their choice if they want to do the movie, if they want to distribute the movie, uh, uh, movie, and whatever. But still, now, as far as where you know Alita could be streamed, obviously, other than having the movie, the Blu-ray, watching it on like Hulu or whatever, or I don't even know if it's on Hulu yet, but whatever, it, it could be. Um, or buying and renting it with like you know like if you have like Veri FiOS with Verizon or if you have Com Xfinity with Comcast or whatever, uh, that's come up recently. Um, so you know you can do all that. But as far as it being on Netflix is concerned, uh, the the belief is that might not happen. It might it might end up on Disney's streaming service when that comes out. Although I'm not 100 percent sure. I I mean. I don't know. I mean, because I feel like, because of course Disney is a more of a younger audience sort of group, and I'm not exactly 100% certain they, you know, with, and I'm not saying that Alita is completely violent or whatever, because oh, obviously it's not. It has its moments, yes, but it's more than just that, of course. I'm just not sure where Disney would want to go with that, and quite frankly, who knows. But anyway, that's not the point. Point is, the biggest thing that Star brought up is the fact of, is the continued toxicity, like, someone on Twitter posted this, you know, animation, gif, whatever, of Alita punching Captain Marvel, and it just repeats over and over and over and over and over again, just like in a continuous loop, because it's a gif. That stuff needs to stop, at least in the sense of having it, you know, mainstream like that, because... We're not taking sides in your freaking culture wars. So, first of all, you can drop that. Second of all, you know, stop using the hashtag to to push your political your agendas. Stop it. It's not not it's not necessary. It's not needed, and quite frankly, it hurts the Alita. It hurts Alita. You may not seem to understand that, but it does because there are people that are on Twitter that have openly said, and I've seen these tweets myself, that have said that they want us to watch Alita. They want to support Alita. But they just don't feel like they can because of all this toxicity by people pushing the Alita versus Captain Marvel agenda. And that's not right. Quite frankly, that hurts a guy like me because to see that. Because people... You know, people want, are openly saying they want to support it, but the one thing that's holding them back is all this toxicity... With Captain Marvel, that should have died months ago. Okay? Captain Marvel is a good movie in its own right. Alita is a good movie in its own right. But that does not mean that you have the right to, or the necessity to, to put the two against each other and make them fight to the death like that. That's not, no. That's not right. Believe me, fantasize about it all you want. It's not going to happen. And it's not necessary, okay? Leave them alone. I'd rather see them crossed over and have the two of them working together than fighting against each other, if you ask me. Okay? For starters. 
And second of all, again, and you can call me a gatekeeper. You can say, oh, nobody owns the hashtag. Knock it off. Let me quote Stephen A. Smith here for a second. Stay off the weed, okay? First of all, it doesn't matter that any that nobody owns the hashtag, whatever. That does still doesn't give you the right to use it to, to push your own agenda, for crying out loud, okay? Because again, doing so hurts us as a, as a fan, as a fandom, and it hurts the movie. It hurts the character. It hurts Alita, okay? Second of all, where do you get off, you know, calling those of us who are trying to keep it down the middle gatekeepers? What do you call, where do you get off with all this toxicity in the first place? That's something, you know, that's something I don't seem to understand is where do people get off with being toxic like this? Wait, what kind of a gain do you get from doing that? It just doesn't make any sense to me. So, I mean, somebody can explain this to me in the comments if they want to. You know, and I'll look at it. But the bottom line is this. It makes no sense. It literally makes no sense to be, to, to be pushing such toxicity out in the public. This is the reason why we are where we are today. Okay? People are constantly pushing their own agendas, knocking other people down. And the people that they're knocking down are getting ticked about it. You know, and it's causing, and I feel like it's causing a lot of people to resort to violence and stuff like that for the fact of that they're sick and tired of dealing with this crap. Now, don't expect any one of us out of the Illuminati to do that kind of thing. I don't, I wouldn't believe for a second that any one of us would do that. But my point is, I don't want to see it happen in the first place. And the constant pushing of toxicity is a problem. And it needs to stop because the more you do that, the more you hurt the movie and you and the chances of getting a sequel. And yeah, you probably already know that, which is why you're so content with doing it. But why? What kind of a game do you get out of it other than you want to hurt the chances for getting a sequel? And if that's not the main reason why you're pushing such toxicity, then tell me why? Why? Then what is the reason? If it's not to hurt our chances of getting a sequel, and it's not to hurt, you know, hurt the chances of people watching the movie, then what kind of a gain do you get from pushing toxicity like that? I don't understand. I mean, I understand, what I do understand is the rhetoric in this country, it is so out of whack. I mean, I don't even want to get into that with the political crap and all that, the political rhetoric, believe me, you want to see that, go turn on the news. Go go on to Twitter if you want to. Go go do what do go do whatever. But aside from that, and that's you know, that's a big problem in this country along with every a lot of other things. But it's not necessary and to see it dive all the way down to something as innocent as the fan as as us fans of you know of a movie to see it go that far i mean and even farther than that at times it hurts believe me it really does you know when i see these tweets of people saying that they want to support the movie but they don't feel like they can because of all this toxicity that breaks my heart because that's another fan lost because of this toxic this toxicity and this bull crap. Okay? So, please, for my sake, for the Elite Army's sake, and for Alita herself, and for Rosa Salazar, and for John Landau, and Robert Rodriguez, and James Cameron, for all their sakes, please, stop with the toxicity, stop pushing for culture wars, leave, Mar leave Captain Marvel and Alita alone, you know, and... Or if you, or if you want to do something between the two of them, do it positively. You know, do a crossover where they're working together, not fighting against each other. I mean, seriously, we don't need, you know, civil war type situations in the movie fandom world. You just don't. So please, do me a favor, and stop with this crap. That's all I ask. Anyway. Drop a like, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you all in the next one.
Peace.